Hello humans, welcome to another edition of Quarantine Cuisine. And this is a response to a request. Uh, who's requesting this, Izzy? Me! And my And my friend Ronnie! That's right, that's right. Okay, so this is, uh, Ronnie wanted to know about tossing pizza dough. So come on over here. We're gonna get our dough out. You wanna make sure your dough is in a nice round-ish ball. This sat a little longer than I like. So, but that's, that's pretty good. It's a little dry, but we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, so what you wanna do is use your fingers around the edges here. Not too far out. Okay, so what we're trying to do is get that crust started. Okay, so now what we're gonna start doing is using our hands, we're gonna spread this out. See that? And we're gonna rotate as we spread out. This dough is definitely a little, there we go. So what's happening here is we're creating, a little sticky, a little sticky. See how the crust is still staying thicker and we're pushing and spreading our fingers out. All right, so now it's time for the, uh, the toss. So I'm anchoring with my hand got my hand my right hand flat left hand anchor and here we go all right a little rough but we got it going one more time there we go see this Woo now ignore the cracks in the dough if it sits a little long it'll dry out it's gonna cook just fine but and you will get messy guys but see now we got a nice perfect size pizza no must no fuss so practice with your towel twist the hand up and twist up and twist. That could be a dance. If I did editing and cared more, I would put some music to that and you could meme it or whatever the fuck you kids do. All right, in a little bit, we're going to actually make some pizza and we'll see you then. Hello again. We are making the pizza from the dough we just tossed. Isolation is making me so domestic. All right, I like to do special things with my pizza. So I'm going to have a garlic butter uh, thing I, I did chives, melted butter, uh, black pepper, and a little black garlic powder. That's going to go all over the crust to give it that golden brown action. And on top of the pizza, I'm going to make a little pesto with uh, chives, a lot of basil, roasted garlic, which check this out. You cut the top off a garlic bulb, the whole thing, salt and pepper, a little olive oil, and you just roast it on high, like 450 uh, for about an hour until it's all golden brown. And then you squeeze this whole thing out and you got pulpy garlic. It's all roasted and delicious. It's got a different flavor. It's great. So I added that in there with some pine nuts, lemon juice, uh, and good olive oil. So salt and pepper. We're gonna, oh yeah, I have a blender in my drawer. Pretty sweet. Covered blender. All right. There you go. Isn't that fun? Just keep watching. This is really not boring at all. Ah! 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 Pesto's done. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Good consistency. Put that aside. I'm gonna make sure. Give it a little taste. Awesome. Okay, now we can begin the pizza assembly. Since I've been touching a bunch of stuff, just rewash. Especially now, guys, wash thoroughly, frequently, and funkily. And don't worry, kids, uh, you know, I love these uh, cooking things, but I am in the process of recording a song for the highest tipper of my stage at show, uh, Alana. You're going to get that song uh, soon. And uh, a couple other, I'm, I'm going to do some live Instagram recordings. And that's all great, but let's get back to this fucking pizza. All right, so I made homemade meatballs before this madness happened and froze them. These are turkey meatballs, and I do a homemade sauce, like straight up San Marzano tomatoes, the whole thing. We'll, we'll do that on, like, Sunday fun day. We'll do the whole Italian thing. But I, I thought it out, and we're going to use this to top the pizza, uh, which I nearly forgot to do my garlic butter, which would have sucked. 
So the color there is because of the black garlic powder that I put in there. Don't be afraid. All around. What makes perfect? Fuck! All right. I love the internet. I can just say fuck all I want. I'm just going to do a little bit over every, every inch here just because it's delicious. I don't want to get it too wet, so we're not going to go crazy with the sauce, and you shouldn't. This is a really thin pizza, okay? So we don't want to go nuts with our toppings or our sauces. It's really about discipline. All right, now... Homemade sauce that I was talking about. Pour a little bit in the center. Need a little more. I don't have my ladle. There we go. And now, usually I use a ladle, but this will do the trick. And it really isn't, but it should be spreading out evenly all over the place. But that's about as much sauce as you want. Like, that's how thick it should be. It shouldn't try to get it nice and close to the crust. A little bit more. Yeah, I really should have found my ladle. That's all right. This is a this is a quarantine time. We're making do with what we got. I don't think this is so bad. If anybody complains about this, they can kiss the fattest part of my bunghole. And this is a food show, and I said that. <laughs> I'm never going to get picked up by Food Network. All right. Now, I made... Also, I got pork butt, and I ground my own Italian sausage... Uh, and I used, and then I cased them for a party we were doing, a little Super Bowl action. So then I took the extras that I didn't make into sausages, and I'm, I thought it out, and now we're going to use it for pizza. I don't know why I grabbed a spoon. This is the way to do it. I like the meat underneath this cheese, kind of like the Chicago style. It just the textures better, and we're not going to use too much of either, so it kind of like hangs out together and melts over. You don't have to. You can put the cheese on first if you want, but I don't, so deal and that depends sometimes I change my mind all right that's pretty evenly distributed all right quick rinse now just gonna kind of spread them out a little wide this is just some good old mozzarella here. They're thick, but they're going to uh, spread out over the whole pizza. So we don't need to go crazy. That should be good enough. And now we've got some awesome artichoke hearts that will kind of crust up. We'll spread them out. These ones are marinated in oil, which I wish I didn't have those. I could have dried the ones in water out. So we got to go a little sparing. Just get the leaves, a couple of the hearts. That's all right, I got the oven at like 500 degrees. Hopefully this doesn't take long to cook. It won't sog up on me. I usually use sliced olives, but the only canned olives I had were chopped, so we're just gonna do a little sprinkling. Pretend it's like caviar, and we're rich. Just a little bit. All right, and we're gonna top this off with our basil. Well, oh, sorry, first chives. Chives. We're also going to put some fresh chives and some shredded basil on right when we pull it out of the oven. But for now, we're going to use these leaves. Look at that decimated plant. This is it. That's all. That's its sacrifice to us. All right, guys, we are almost there. I'm just going to throw a little bit of dried basil on top. little bit of oregano, just a little dusting, keep that Italian herb going. And because of the butter and everything else that I put on there, it's plenty salty. Sometimes you can do some nice uh, coarse salt, or, but I don't think it needs it. Almost out of my fresh crack, I'm going to have to use pre-ground pepper like a freaking pleb. The times we live in, the sacrifices we have to make. 
All right. And sometimes I'll do a little drizzle of finishing oil. I'll see how it is afterwards. Uh, or and sometimes I do it before, but because of the artichokes and how thin it is, I'm just gonna let it be. We got it all set up. We're ready to go. We got a nice 500 degree oven here. Slide this in. It could be eight minutes. It could be 10 minutes. It could be 12 minutes. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on the day, the oven, the gobs. Uh, but we will pull it out in just a little bit. <laughs> pull it out. And we'll see how it looks. It's time. Oh yeah. Look at that golden brown crust right there. Piping hot. So now we're just gonna do the little finishing touches. This pesto we made. Let's do a couple little drops here and there. Just a little bit of chive. Just a touch crushed red pepper if you like it spicy. If not, then I don't care about you, but you don't have to do it. And lastly, we're just going to top it off a little parm. Just a bit. Add a little extra of that saltiness since I didn't add salt at the end and I don't think it needs it. And this thickened up nice enough to where I'm going to finish it with some nice finishing oil. There, there we go, just a couple little drops. And now, let it cool for just a couple minutes. We chop it, we eat it. And there is your pizza, tossed, spread, overdone, convoluted. You're welcome. Bye guys, never give up on love. <laughs>